here in this how-to, we're going to quickly tour the Savion Linux 4.0 installation GUI. Having entered the live DVD environment here, first off we're going to want to confirm that our network connection is working. If you are using DHCP, it should be working right out of the box. If you are using static IP, you'll need to configure it. To do so, click the menu button down here. Go to Terminal Program Console, which is right in the favorites there of the menu. Uh, we need to switch to root, so we will type SU, enter. We're prompted for the password and in live DVD mode the root password is simply root. So we'll type root, enter. And now net hyphen setup, enter. And we get this little ASCII GUI for configuring the network connection. Uh, Alternatively, you can use um, a KDE GUI. Um, I have found the Net Setup GUI to be more reliable within the live DVD mode. But my network connection is already set up here, so I'm just going to select Cancel. Uh, you can easily follow the instructions within that GUI um, if you need to use it to set up your static IP connection. So we'll open Firefox to confirm that the network connection is working. And the Savion homepage loads just fine. So we'll close that. Now, optionally, before launching the installer, you can double click on gparted here uh, to use the gparted partitioning tool. Alternatively, you can partition from within the Savvy on Linux installer. I've already partitioned using gparted, so we'll move straight on to the installer. Double click install on disk. Now, notice the Update Installer button at the bottom of the GUI here. We'll click that, and this is why we wanted to make sure we had a working network connection, because this updater is going to go online and fetch any fixes and improvements that have been made to the installer since uh, the last release click download installer and it says downloading package downloading checksum and it'll notify us when the update is successful we quit we hit the quit button the installer relaunches having updated itself now we'll go forward select our language forward our keyboard layout forward And we are presented with uh, a choice of which desktop environment we want to use as our default. Savion gives us several choices. We can use KDE, GNOME, XFCE, Flexbox, or uh, a server type of installation uh, without a desktop environment. I'll go with the default KDE. Next we are presented with a choice of various um, package categories to include or exclude from the installation. You'll notice that even though we've selected uh, KDE as our default desktop environment, we have the option to install GNOME and XFCE packages as well. Uh, if we do so, then 
at the login manager uh, we'll be presented with a choice of uh, which desktop environment we want to use for each session. Uh, the reasons you might want to have more than one desktop environment, for example, um, might include if, if you're a new user to Linux and you want to try out the different desktop environments, or if you're a developer and you want to test your software in different environments. Uh, by clicking the details button to the right of uh, each of these categories, you can see exactly which packages are contained within them. For example, here we have a list of three games, Nexus, Sauerbraten, and Second Life, contained in the Advanced 3D Games category. I'll select that category and hit Forward. Now we are given a list of all the packages that are included in the categories we've selected. Uh, we can go through this and uh, pare it down if we want, uh, removing packages on an individual basis. Um, I think I won't do that, as it's perfectly easy to remove individual packages post-install too. So I'll go forward. Next we're presented with some networking services that we can install. Uh, the default options here are good for most people. Um, Samba is a networking service that works with both Linux and Windows computers. Cups is for accessing printers over a network and we have some other uh, Linux networking services as well that are not selected by default. I'll keep the defaults here.